Are you excited as we dive into the electric vehicle market in 2024? Today, we're zooming in on NEO's performance. We'll be breaking down their $2.2 billion investment, dissecting delivery numbers, comparing them to BYD's stellar growth, exploring the ET9 flagship model, and questioning if NEO is truly a top player this year. Ready to crunch the numbers? The company did report it delivered around 50,000 vehicles in their fourth quarter. That was 25% higher than a year ago, but it was also down almost 10% from the vehicles they delivered around 55,400 in their third quarter. So sequential weakness. We are seeing some of that selling pick up today. It's pretty much held around this level here, but this name now is $8. So this feels like a completely different Neo and a completely different story than actually some of these other Chinese EV outperformers. If you're not up to date yet, let me fill you in on Neo's Q4 2023 performance. They went above and beyond, exceeding vehicle delivery expectations by delivering over 50,000 units. It's a clear win on the delivery front, but the revenue growth story has a twist. Despite the impressive delivery numbers, Neo's revenue was only expected to grow by about 4% on the high end. Why? Price cuts played a role, raising questions about the sustainability of their current revenue model. Now, let's talk about the competition. Neo's trading at a premium compared to BYD, an established player in the Chinese EV industry. BYD showcased robust growth, with a nearly 40% increase in Q3 revenue. This contrast in growth rates raises eyebrows for potential investors. Why would they opt for NEO over BYD when the latter seems to be accelerating at a faster pace? Profitability becomes the spotlight here. In a fiercely competitive EV market, it's not just about delivering vehicles, but making the balance sheets green. NEO's pushing hard on deliveries, but the real game changer is profitability. Now, the spotlight is on NEO's delivery prowess in December 2023. NEO delivered a whopping 18,012 vehicles, marking a solid 13.9% year-over-year increase. The breakdown is interesting, 12,048 premium smart electric SUVs and 5,964 premium smart electric sedans. But wait, there's more. Let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture. In Q4 2023, NEO delivered a total of 50,045 vehicles, showcasing a robust 25% year-over-year growth. For the entire year of 2023, the numbers hit 160,038 vehicles, reflecting a substantial 30.7% increase. These figures aren't just delivery numbers, but growth rates that demand attention. Now, onto the star of the show, the ET9 flagship model. NEO's not just about meeting expectations, but pushing the envelope. The ET9 is a technological marvel, flaunting a 900-volt architecture and mind-blowing 600 kilowatts charging speeds. With features like steer-by-wire technology and support for higher-level autonomous driving with three LiDAR scanners, it's a clear signal that NEO is aiming high. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and get into much details later. So, how does this play into the bigger game? Cumulative deliveries tell a story of their own. As of December 31st, 2023, NEO has rolled out 449,594 vehicles. This isn't just a number, but a testament to NEO's increasing footprint in the electric vehicle market. Speaking of impressive deliveries, NEO also received a hefty $2.2 billion strategic equity investment from CYVN. In July 2023, CYVN initially made a significant move, investing $738.5 million in NEO. Fast forward to the recent closure of the $2.2 billion deal, and CYVN now holds approximately 20.1% of NEO's total issued and outstanding shares. That's not just a stake, it's a substantial ownership chunk that consolidates CYVN's influence in NEO. So, what's the game plan here? NEO and CYVN aren't just shaking hands and parting ways. They're in it for the long haul. The partnership goes beyond a mere financial transaction. It's about joint collaboration for strategic initiatives and technological advancements. The goal is to advance NEO's position in the market and push the boundaries of what's possible in the electric vehicle space. Moreover, CYVN's investment isn't just about throwing money into the mix, but a calculated move. In the ever-evolving landscape of electric vehicles, having a substantial financial backing is crucial. The injection of funds positions NEO to pursue ambitious plans, whether it's RAND D for cutting-edge tech or expanding its global footprint. CYVN's strategic importance goes beyond the dollar signs. It's about synergy, bringing together financial strength with NEO's innovation. Now, did you know that BYD just overtook Tesla as China's electric car sales leader in the last quarter of 2023? Yes, you heard it right. It's a market shakeup that's turning heads. Let's break it down. BYD showed impressive muscle, boasting a 40% surge in Q3 revenue. Meanwhile, though making strides, NEO faces stiff competition not just from Tesla, but from within its backyard. 
Now, the big question is, why are heavy hitters like Berkshire Hathaway placing their bets on BYD instead of NEO? BYD's growth trajectory is catching the eyes of savvy investors. Berkshire owns a solid 8% of BYD, and there's a reason for that. When it comes to established players, BYD's revenue surge is speaking volumes. Investing in the electric vehicle arena is no joyride. The challenges are real, and the risks are palpable, especially when considering upstarts like NEO. Sure, NEO's making waves, but being the new kid on the block in such a cutthroat industry has its share of uncertainties. It's not just about making electric vehicles, but about making and sustaining a mark. But before we move on, we just want to thank you for watching this far. One step heading to that mark is NEO's ET9 flagship model. Picture this, a 900-volt architecture and a charging speed that hits a jaw-dropping 600 kilowatts. That's not just fast, it's blazing a trail in the EV race. Now, the ET9 isn't just about power but about innovation. Steer-by-wire technology takes the wheel, eliminating the physical connection between the steering wheel and the rack. It's a futuristic touch that goes beyond the norm. They've thrown in LiDAR scanners, not one, not two, but three. That's safety and a technological symphony that echoes NEO's commitment to cutting-edge features. What about the price tag? Well, the ET9 doesn't come cheap, starting at around $112,000 at current exchange rates. It's not your average run-of-the-mill electric vehicle pricing, but it's not aiming to be. The price reflects the tech-packed powerhouse that is the ET9. Now, beyond the numbers and tech specs, it's about brand image and market competitiveness. The ET9 isn't just entering the market, but making a grand entrance, waving the flag of innovation. This move can potentially reshape how NEO is perceived in the electric vehicle world. So, what does NEO's future look like this year? Well, it's not just about selling cars, but about strategic alliances and NEO's dancing in step with CYVN. Joint efforts are underway, not just to sell more vehicles, but to pioneer new frontiers in tech. The collaboration isn't just a casual handshake, it's about diving into specific areas that could catapult NEO into long-term success. Just think groundbreaking technologies and game-changing strategies. Why is this partnership crucial? Staying ahead in the tech game is non-negotiable in the electric vehicle industry. It's not just about being a player, it's about leading the pack. And how do you lead? Well, strategic partnerships are the secret sauce. They're not just about shaking hands, but about positioning NEO as an industry leader. But, and there's always a but, investing in the Chinese market and the electric vehicle industry is no cakewalk. Challenges are as real as the numbers on the balance sheet. Navigating the financial terrain comes with risks, especially in a competitive market. As for market dynamics, they're not static, but like a wild ride with global twists and turns. So, should you invest in NEO in 2024? Well, it's a balancing act. The rewards could be grand, but the risks, they're there, too. The question isn't just about investing, it's about making informed decisions. Consider the numbers, weigh the risks, and ponder on whether NEO is truly a top EV stock this year. The road ahead is s full of possibilities, and the question remains, will NEO take the lead or follow the pack? What's your move? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know more about how NEO plans to become a global EV leader, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.